So this is a multiple choice question. Make sure that you do actually answer the question before you look at the answers and try and eliminate those distractors. So here's a good one for understanding um, forces in equilibrium. And whenever you're given a situation like this, I suggest the first thing you do is to draw yourself a vector triangle. So we're told it's of mass m. Okay, so we know that the force vertically downwards is its weight mg. You could use w for the notation, but you can see I'm trying to work out a tension in, um, I'm going to give one of these, so I'm going to use mg. The two tensions are upwards, but they're on angles. So we can always combine vectors top to tail. So point to, to tail there. This is the same as this. And this is my angle theta there and there. Okay, so we know that mg adds up to the vertical component of these two tensions. So what I'm essentially trying to work out first is what's the vertical component of the two tensions. And I know that vertical component must equal half of mg, mg over two. So now I can just get myself a trigonometric relationship here, and it's gonna be the opposite and the hypotenuse. So sine of the angle is the op over the hip. What is the op? It's mg over two. So sine theta is mg over two. And what is the hypotenuse? It's t. So now just rearrange for t. Take my mg over, so mg over sine theta is 2t. And then divide by 2 to get mg over 2 sine theta equals t. So what is t? mg over 2 sine theta. Hey presto. Okay, a nice one for remembering if it's something is in equilibrium, you can draw a vector triangle which is going to close. Okay, and then thinking from there, where's my trigonometric relationship? You can also, I like the, the shortcut, if you wanted to work out, if you've got this angle here, if you wanted to work out the vertical component, remember you're swinging it open, so you sign if you're on the horizontal, you're closing it for that, so you use cos, that's the way to remember that. All right. Cheers. So I hope that was really useful to you. Exam questions are a great way to practice for exams, but don't just do exam questions. There's, if you struggle with that exam question, then you probably need to revisit the theory for that topic. So do that before you have a go at some other ones. If I've made any mistakes, then correct them down below. And if you've got any more questions, then down below as well. Maybe you guys can help each other out. And there should be some um, playlists around here and a subscribe button if you like that and you want to see some more as and when I bring it out. All right, thanks a lot for watching.